Hi, this is Shadi. Today we're going to be talking about Kodokan Judo techniques that have been there since the very beginning, but for some reason they are not used either. They don't bother using them at all, or they have used only the very sophisticated variation that came along a competition. However, when these techniques are used, even the basic form that seems to be somewhat forgotten, they destroy absolutely everyone in their way. And we're going to see today examples of champions that just simply are unstoppable simply due to these techniques. Now, the first one, everyone knows that this is a judo technique. This is a tomoenage or a circular throw. Now, the basic form, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but the leg that springs up, it's the leg that it's on the side of the lapel. Now, let's take a look at the Kodokan video, which shows that the basic form, the leg that springs up, it's actually on the side of the lapel and not the sleeve. Now, what we do is the complete opposite. Now, you can use both of your legs, but this is the basic form. You round yourself back and only towards the end is where you spring your leg up. Now, everyone is doing this Yoko Tomoenagi or to the side, on the side of the sleeve, and it creates a very big circle and it's absolutely gorgeous. However, so much can go wrong with it. Um, you can get countered, you can get pinned, and it's just very difficult to execute. Now we're very busy with Ono and Kashiwazaki, etc. But we're forgetting here this champion. Now she is three times world champion. Her name is uh, Sunoda Natsumi. Now what she does is, again, it's on the side of the uh, dominant hand, which is the left. She goes in with this one and then she, she shoots up. She just lays really deep and underneath them and makes it work. So I have to tell you something. It's If you watch her highlights, it, it seems like she only has this technique followed with Juji Gatame on the ground. And now she has been crowned three times world champion. And it's safe to say that it's going to be, she's going to be the Olympic champion next year in the 48 category. And for some reason, just nobody, uh, till now with her world title reign cannot stop this technique. So what she does is attack with the leading leg, which is her left leg. And then if she needs assistance, she follows it up with the other one. And still nobody can stop her. Now the next one is going to be, I would say the O Soto family. So you have first one here, the O Soto Otoshi. You see there's a big uh, stomp uh, behind uh, Uke's leg. And then with your hands, you overwhelm them. You don't reap the leg. You just stomp behind and then overwhelm them. The next one is uh, O Soto Guruma. Now notice how uh, Tori is on the side. And when you are on the side and you do like the O Soto motion, you kind of block both legs. And what will this do is create like a Tai Otoshi effect where everyone is like whirled over in a big wheeling motion. However, it's to the back or to the side, but not to the front. To the front it would be Tai Otoshi, obviously. So let's take a look at the basic form of O Soto Guruma. Now, a lot of people think that it's just like O Soto Gari, but you go for both legs. But if you think about it, if going for O Soto Gari alone is very difficult to get far deep. And a lot of people think that nobody does it because they have to extend their leg to reach both legs. But that's not necessarily the case, as you saw from the photo. If you go to the side, both legs are blocked and nobody can do anything and they will go in a big wheeling motion. Now, here the Kodokan explains that you can do like a Tai Otoshi movement, but you send them to the back, not to the front. That would also qualify as O Soto Guruma. So let's take a look at someone who is actually very good at both of these techniques and in my opinion, it's what made him the greatest. It's Ono Shohei. Now, look at how he uh, rotates him to his side and then sends him blocking both legs. Here you see he is to his side. And then look at his body, Blue's body. He goes in a big wheeling motion. This is 100% Ono 
o soto guruma when you rotate them to their side and then you reap both legs or you block both legs that's what makes it o soto guruma this one here is the same notice how ono changes direction now the uh, french or the one in white is facing the scoreboard he doesn't go to the front like Tai Otoshi, he goes to his side and Ono changes direction. This is also Toguruma, much like the old photo. This next one here, you see both legs are cut. Uh, he didn't have to reach far like you saw in the basic demonstration. All he has to do is turn to his side and both legs are cut and blocked. That will make it O Soto Guruma. So again, this is Part of what made Ono so unstoppable is this devastating technique. Let's take a look at one here. He goes again to the side. Now here he stomps down with O Soto Otoshi. It's not, it's not O Soto Gardi per se. Now watch here how he stomps and puts all his leg, all his weight on that leg. He only lifts it up in order to go forward and not so much to reap the leg or maybe towards the finish it's an O Soto Gari, but the bulk of the movement came from the Osoto Otoshi stomp. This one here is a very famous example. Everyone knows this one. Look at that deep stomp. But after he goes down, he lifts his leg so he can follow him to the ground. Not so much to reap. So you can say that uh, Ono performs uh, the entire Osoto family and barely anyone does it. So mainly... Also Toguruma, you see it when right versus left because you have to reach for the far leg and then hop through which makes you turn to the side and then block both legs and which makes it uh, also Toguruma, not so much also Togari. Um, but again, uh, especially the first example with the world champion, the current world champion, and now she is three times world champion, still going for the same technique and cannot be stopped. Just to show you that the basics and the fundamentals and just judo's signature techniques in general, just how unstoppable they are and how devastating they are. Now every technique has so many uh, variation and uh, evolved in a sense that nobody does the basic form because they think it's just a learning form. But if you can take it with you to the mat, you can see just like at Tsunoda, you can terrorize the mats. Uh, fully and you know really dominate everyone so if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was shady and as always thank you for listening